Oh man, conditions are just so stunning here right now. Amazing. <laughs> I just feel so lucky every time. I keep repeating myself on this channel. But uh, yeah, when you're out here on your own, you just feel like the luckiest man on earth. Amazing. So I'm, uh, I'm walking through these uh, woods on my own at five o'clock in the morning. And I don't know if you uh, know this feeling, but not many people uh, do this, uh, <laughs> of course. But uh, every stick that cracks somewhere in the forest just scares the shit out of me. I don't know uh, if that's something from me, but you know, this, uh, I've been here last week in this, uh, this forest. And this forest has a, well, this heather. Where I'm going to, but it has a pretty, uh, pretty dark uh, access road through the forest. So I brought my headlamp. But last week uh, I had a friend of mine with me, and now I'm walking here on my own, and it's a completely different feeling. Just experiencing these, uh, yeah, these these sounds of nature, and I just had a massive moment where, yeah, just uh, I don't know how to explain, but I, I think some fox or at least a small fast animal just ran away <laughs> through the forest next to the road and man <laughs> my, my heart just uh, just stopped for a second there <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's always uh, difficult you're carrying around a lot of gear and it's worth a lot of money so uh, I'm always a bit uh, cautious with uh, yeah traveling on my own so I'm uh, back in the same area as where I was last week and uh, that was the first time I had been here and uh, yeah I just love this area just this open heather and uh, yeah going into the the season where the heather is flowering yeah this uh, this can be a really promising location and so uh, yeah I just decided to go back here and yeah it's been some some terrible weather this week in the Netherlands so uh, it's, it's quite strange we had days with 41 degrees Celsius and that's just uh, that's just ridiculous you know I'm 39 years old and uh, I'm quite sure I never experienced that in my whole life so uh, don't say there's no global warming <laughs> so uh, yeah, it was just ridiculous and I think two days later it was uh, 20 degrees so it was just half but uh, yeah there was a lot of rain also and, but now uh, I'm actually having quite the same conditions as in last week's video and uh, yeah you probably already noticed uh, around me there is a lot of fog yes yes and I mean a lot of fog it's just amazing. So I'm real lucky here. Someone just told me uh, a while ago. He said, oh, "How do you get all this, this mood and atmosphere into your pictures?" And uh, he just couldn't believe that <laughs> that I encountered this these conditions so much. But you know, if you can go out for photography as much as I do at the moment, and uh, yeah, then you just you can pick these conditions and uh, it just looked uh, promising yesterday on all the weather channels so uh, I decided to uh, to give it a go and once again quite lucky but today I'm actually walking to the back of this uh, this header area because uh, yeah last week I didn't really know uh, this area yet and I just wandered around a bit but uh, when we walked back to the car yeah, the, the fog was cleared and the sun was up and uh, we actually found a beautiful area with a lot of uh, lone trees 
that uh, yeah really suit these conditions. But it's uh, it's quite a walk, so I'm uh, I'm doing some uh, some exercise here. So I found my uh, my first uh, shot here. It's actually not much going on here. I hope you can see this beautiful tree here, just standing in front of this golden glow sky. The sun is coming up somewhere behind there. We, I'm just hoping to walk a little bit further before the sun rises up. But I just love the, the atmosphere here of those grasses and the tree and yeah, it's just amazing. So just uh, one shot in the pocket. Always important to start the day with uh, <laughs> at least one shot. So uh, yeah, I can show you uh, on the back of the camera here. You see there's not much going on. I just put the tree uh, right dead center in the frame, F9. A half a second, uh, five second exposure, and then just uh, yeah, take it away. ISO 200. So uh, not much going on. Taking taking the picture now. I think this is a really nice moody picture. So let's hope uh, this works out. So the sun isn't even up yet and uh, yeah, here I am, found my second shot. And this is just a really moody picture. I don't know if this is going to work, but it's still a bit of the blue hour and it's facing away from the sunset. And uh, yeah, let me show you what I'm uh, talking about here. You see there are three birch trees with one tree in the middle. It just Only those birch trees would have been better, but it's just... Uh, yeah, I just like uh, I just like the moodiness of it. So I'm just gonna try it. F9, half a second again. ISO 200. Five second timer. And I'm just gonna play around with these uh, contrasts uh, in Lightroom. And I actually noticed another shot on this side. I'm gonna turn the tripod over a little bit. So this is the second shot. Actually the same position, just a little bit to the right. I just found this uh, little tree here. I'll show you. you. See, it's all about this tree here, and it's separated completely from its background. And uh, I just love this moodiness. I think it will end up as a square image. And uh, yeah, I just love the feeling of this uh, kind of photography. It's just. Uh, Amazing, even before the sun is up, you can find some uh, nice shots. I'm just keeping an eye out on that side every time because last week I fooled myself. I was shooting in this direction too. And then my friend said, oh, look at that sun. <laughs> so we just uh, actually missed it. So uh, yeah, I'm just trying to locate a beautiful tree on that side. It's about 15 minutes before the sun is up. And it's going to take a little bit more time before it's coming above this, uh, this layer of fog. But uh, yeah, let's hope I will find uh, an interesting tree on this side before uh, that will happen. So.
I just have to get a little bit closer. I will uh, explain to you in a minute. So I just found this beautiful dead tree. And uh, yeah, let me explain to you why I moved a little bit further to the front. If you see this branch over here, when I was a little bit higher, uh, it, it was uh, underneath the horizon. And I just didn't like that. So I wanted the whole tree to be above the horizon. And I can only manage to do that when I get a little bit lower. But I, I would like to get even lower than this. But uh, yeah, the problem is that there are a couple of grasses in the foreground. So that's why I moved a little bit further to get rid of the ones behind me. So I'm quite in an open area right now, but uh, yeah, it's just an amazing shot. I don't know uh, what to say. And the sun is actually gonna rise right over there. So I'm thinking of waiting here for a minute. And then I'm gonna take a path here to the left and walk uh, towards the sun. Hopefully, uh, yeah, I get some nice uh, images there. But uh, yeah, I think this, this one has some uh, real potential. So uh, this is worth, uh, worth waiting for, I think. I'm taking the aperture a little bit low, f3.5, because there are still some grasses in the foreground and I just don't want them to be sharp. I just want them to be, yeah, different. <laughs> Look at this business. <laughs> I don't know what kind of spiders live here, but look at this. <laughs> this is amazing. I think I've <laughs> I haven't seen such a large spider web in my whole life. <laughs> so. so if you're watching and you're afraid of spiders, don't worry. There are no dangerous spiders in the Netherlands, no dangerous snakes, no scorpions, nothing. Just frustrating bugs, but uh, not at this time of day. Look at the sky, the colors in the sky on the opposite side of the sunrise. They are amazing. And I'm, uh, I'm just waiting on the sunrise here. I'm still at that, uh, that tree shot when I noticed this the spider web. So I just wanted to show you a little bit uh, atmosphere from the environment. Can you hear those geese here? I can hear them, but I can't see them. Oh, that would be a nice shot. Wow. So that is why I love these early mornings. Those sounds and those, those geese just it gives some There's even a feather coming down here. <laughs> I just love this these mornings. Just it's so nice to be out here. So let me show you uh, this app that I've been talking about. It's called Photo Pills. You have to pay a little bit of money for it, but uh, I think it's uh, absolutely worth it. But uh, yeah, let me show you uh, on my phone what this brings me. So you can actually pinpoint a location and you can see all these things. So you can see now the yellow line is the line where the sun is rising. So 
I'm actually uh, yeah, facing that exact location now, so north is uh, up there. So uh, yeah, this is going to be uh, straight into the sunrise. And then you see some other uh, things, you can see where the sun is going down, you can see where the moon is coming up and where the moon is coming down. So there's just a lot of information uh, yeah, on this app, you can, you can see where uh, uh, w what time the sun is rising, what time the sun is setting, and you can use it in any location in the world. At least you have to have uh, some some internet reception. But uh, yeah, it's really helpful to uh, yeah, especially to see if if you're facing the right directions for sunrises. So it looks like I I am in the right direction now. I just have to wait until the sun is uh, coming up. The sun is actually up. It's uh, one minute past six now. I was here at five o'clock, so I've already uh, walked around here for an hour, searching for uh, some interesting things. So I decided to uh, to ditch that uh, that tree shot. Look at this on the other side here. Look at all those birds. A beautiful pond. Look at this. So I scared them away, probably. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's a shame, but I don't know if you noticed those ones uh, flying over. Those are actually spoon. Uh, Spoonbills. They're just uh, beautiful animals, but unfortunately they flew away. But maybe uh, later on we will get some uh, some chances to photograph them when there is a little bit more light. They're probably going to another uh, pond uh, on that side. But I actually decided to ditch that dead tree shot, and uh, I think for a good reason because uh, yeah, I'm expecting this huge golden glow sun to be popping over that horizon in a minute and uh, yeah, the problem I was facing was that uh, this that tree was behind a couple of larger uh, trees so that light wouldn't wouldn't have hit it directly and I wouldn't have been able to include that sun into that shot so yeah I just decided to walk on a little bit further and just look for uh, interesting trees I think I found a couple of ones here. And you can see now on the other side. So that is the location the sun is rising. You can definitely see the color in the sky now. There's actually no road going in that direction. It's a shame, because I, I just want to go a little bit further to that side actually, but uh, yeah, I'm going to try to, uh, to find a nice uh, position uh, to include that sun in my, uh, in my frame.
finally found a nice composition for this uh, the sun to fit in. Let me show you. Don't have much time, but yeah, look at this. This is a 16 by 9, so the, the image is a little bit higher on the bottom and the top. But uh, yeah, the sun is just coming around from behind that tree. I just framed up these three trees that I thought yeah, were quite similar. Uh, Similar, I don't know how you, they, they go together quite well. So we've got two nice leaf trees and there's one dead tree right in the middle. And the sun coming up between them. So I'm just uh, really lucky, happy with this shot. So I think uh, I will end the video here. I already shot so many good images and uh, so many video material that I already know that I have to split this video in two because I don't want to make videos of 30, 40 minutes. So I just don't like that. So 15 to 20 minutes, that's uh, what I'm aiming for. And <laughs> I'm well over that at the moment. So if you're still in uh, uh, at this point of the video, then please push the thumbs up button if you liked it. And uh, please subscribe. There's a button beneath this video if you push subscribe. And uh, yeah, you will massively help uh, this channel to grow. There's also a little notification bell if you push it and select all. You will get a message when I release uh, my next video. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And yeah, I'm going to go straight on to uh, part two because yeah, these epping conditions aren't gone yet. So uh, yeah, I know there's enough uh, content to, uh, to shoot another video here today. So uh, hope to see you uh, next week. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye for now.